is a boat lift right for you. Whether you keep your boat at a marina or a private pier, there are lots of advantages to using a lift. You don't have to paint the bottom. You never have to worry about a line coming loose and the boat banging into the pier, and the boat most certainly won't sink in its slip. The lift you see here is a standard cable winding lift. They're slow. It takes about five minutes to lower or raise the boat. A more expensive but faster option is a hydraulic lift, like this one from Shore Station. This takes about one minute to go up or down. Now it's time to go fishing. Oh, there he is! Pretty fish. Nice fish, buddy. The convenience of keeping your boat on a lift is phenomenal, and as you can see, even a 15-year-old can handle it no problem. When putting the boat back on the lift, just make sure that it's still at the right height if the tide has changed. And one more thing to keep in mind, it's a mistake to push off the poles. Just let them guide the boat in. See how a push here swings the bow too far off to starboard? Oh, and one other tip. Make sure the bunks are high enough to catch the bow of the boat. If they're submerged too deep, you could drive right over the lift and hit your outdrive. The only downsides to keeping your boat on a lift are expense, and the fact that you may need to remove your boat in case of a hurricane when many lift kept boats can get damaged or float free. One final tip, you do want to make sure that your lift is mounted so that you can reach the switches from your boat. Even better, get a key fob control. Is keeping your boat on a lift the right move for you? Well, that's a call only you can make, but I can tell you one thing. Of all the folks that I know that keep their boat on a lift, there's not one that's disappointed.